Right from the start of this game, Bowes attacked. Keith Devaney looking aggressive, and it promised to be a long night for Evan Moran. Well, a long night was exactly what it was. Bo's first goal of the night was an absolute gift. Reese Gorman's header didn't quite have enough power on it to make it all the way back to the goalkeeper. And Daniel Kelly made no mistake with a deft touch past Evan Moran. Delighted to get his first goal on his debut performance. Bowes could have had a second very shortly after. Philip Gannon playing in Kelly, but Moran came out swiftly and blocked well. A moment of lackadaisical defence from Bowes. Keith Buckley should have done a lot better. But when the shot did come in, Shane Supple in the Bowes goal held well. That was Bray's only real shot of the game and Bowes looked very happy in possession as they probed for an opportunity patiently. Dara Leahy does well to cross deeply here, but although Moran stops the first shot, the second, uh, well, who else was it but Kelly in the right place at the right time to grab his second of the night and put Bowes 2-0 up. Not the prettiest goal or the cleanest collection, but Bowes didn't mind and they were well in control of the game. Bray continued to play themselves into difficulty and presented Dinny Corcoran with yet another chance. Again, the right hand of Moran got the visitors out of trouble. The home side could sense that a big score was on the cards and Bray looked nothing short of nervous. Sean Heaney, the offender this time. Ward was the next person in line to be denied by Evan Moran in the Bray goal. And Ward was the key man in the Gypsies' next attack. First with a long searching cross to the back post, which is headed back across by Dan Casey. Ward initiates a give-and-go with John Lunny, and he's fouled for the return ball. The referee has no hesitation and points to the spot. It's a tough one for the defender, who was just probably on the wrong side of Ward. But no mistake from Corcoran from the spot. Bray's belligerent determination to play their way out of defence was responsible for Bowes' fourth. Reese Gorman again turning into danger to create chaos in the Seagulls' defence. And Kevin Devaney had enough time to fire it past Moran and make it 4 0. Great pressure from the Bowes midfield as they tighten the screws and Devaney put it in well. Could have been 5-0 at the break when Dan Casey collected a return ball before finding the woodwork from the edge of the box. But 4-0 was the half-time score. The second half began with much the same pattern. Corcoran this time with a speculative lob. Moran helping it over the bar for a corner. The danger though hadn't gone and Corcoran with the change of direction. Rob Cornwall with a thumping header for number five. It seemed like a training grand move and very satisfying for the players involved. The home side refused to take their foot off the pedal and a brilliant ball on the turn put in Casey, who was felled by Moran for the game's second spot kick. Perhaps this time Evan Moran was a bit too enthusiastic when he came off his line. But the goalkeeper got down well and saved to his left to deny Corcoran. Bows that were relentless and kept on coming 
this time. Christian Magerson got up well to a challenge unopposed and unmarked. The defenders all stood still. He didn't and made it 6-0. In fact, they'll probably summed up a lot about Bray's night and their lack of organisation at the back. It could have even been 7. Ward using his raw and brilliant electric pace to break down the right before pulling it back to Lunny. But Moran again was the man to avert the danger. The finished Bohemian 6, Bray Wanderers nil.